What are you sitting down by just beats the donkey? But then check this out. In chapter 22 of Numbers, starting at verse 28, it says, Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to make you beat me these three times? And Balaam answered the donkey, You have made a fool of me. If only I had my sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. Okay, so I have a problem right here. If a donkey talks to you, that's one thing. But if you talk back to the donkey, you need to come and make an appointment, come and see it here and talk about that real soon, because like that's not normal. If a donkey talks to you, if you talk to me, I'd be freaking out right now. I'm not answering back, like having a conversation, because you like didn't do what I wanted you to do. I love it, however, that even though critical people love to beat the donkey with their words, God just every now and again uses that donkey to give a word back to them. In Proverbs 12, verse 13, it, th- verse 15, 15, should I say, it says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to that advice. Even if the advice comes from a donkey. I recognize that there is a role for criticism. The Bible talks about the value of correction from wise counsel. So you know when criticism is wise counsel when it comes from somebody who is typically not negative and not critical. But unfortunately for Mr. Negative, he thinks that he is that wise correction that it is his God-given duty to always point out the negative. And so in his self-perceived superiority, he becomes somewhat foolish. Whether that be the authority of the critical parent, the authority of the critical spouse, the authority of the critical teacher, the authority of the critical boss, or even the authority of the critical church brother, always Because otherwise, we become 